This year, life is not going to get easier. You are just going to get better at doing the hard things. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know that one of the platforms that I really like is called Lofty. The website is lofty.ai. I've reviewed a bunch of platforms on my channel about real estate investing. Some of them are so shady, it's shocking. And then there's a few of them that are actually doing a really good job. I think Lofty is doing a really good job. One of the platforms I reviewed, gosh, it must have been six months ago. It was called Here. And I had a horrible review of it. I said they were absolutely scammy. Don't touch them. And one of my viewers let me know, they sent me a comment that this place has finally ceased operations. Now, just because a platform is small doesn't mean that it's bad. There are some emerging platforms that are actually starting. They're doing a pretty good job. But the bigger platforms that have been around for a while, I think, are the great places that you want to be putting your money. Now, Lofty is one of my favorites. I really, really like Lofty. They are a blockchain-enabled company, so they're using the Algorand blockchain. So if you like crypto in any way, then there's that going on in the background. Um, their properties, they're owned by a Wyoming LLC. It's a DAO, a decentralized organization. Auto DAO means D-A-W, a decentralized autonomous organization. What that means is, is when you buy into a property that you own a share of that property with everyone else as an organization and you get to vote on the governance of what happens with that property. Let's say a tenant moves out. Let's say a tenant doesn't pay their rent and you're all having to decide, do we want to give cash for keys and get this tenant out quickly? Or do we want to do an eviction process and take more time and take them to court? Well, the people that own that property, then they can have a governance vote. Each person gets to vote who owns a share or a token in the DAO and decide on what you want to do, all the decisions that are being made. Now, Lofty has a really, really interesting program. They just started at the end of last year, about December, I remember getting an email on this. And that is where us as investors, or you as a homeowner, but let's look at it from the investor side. Us as investors can invest directly into a property while the owner is also still invested in the property. Now, another way of looking at this is, let's say you have a property and you've got a lot of equity, and you want to pull some of that equity out. Well, you really only have a couple of options. You can do a cash out refinance, which is expensive, or you can do a HELOC, a home equity line of credit. You can't really go to you can't really go to hard money. Hard money lenders cannot invest in properties or cannot lend on properties that are owner occupied. When a property is owner occupied, that brings it into traditional lending standards. The government is involved, regulations. If you have a property and you want to pull money out, you can't go to a hard money lender, regardless of your situation, regardless of your equity position. Basically, just then leaves you with a HELOC or doing the traditional refinance. But maybe you don't fit in those criteria and you can't do that. Or maybe you just don't want to for whatever personal reasons. You don't want to go through the process, the costs. You don't want it on your credit like that. Then there aren't really too many other options. Well, now Lofty has an option for you. And for us as investors, we can now invest in these properties with the homeowners and own it together in this DAO that I mentioned. And then going in the ongoing operations that say there's rent or a payment to, let's say, us as investors for investing in it is paid out daily. If it's a property that's rented out, then the rents come in. The rents to us as investors are paid out daily. So I want to go over that program right here. I'll talk about it from the investor side, the benefits as us as buyers, and also from the seller side if you want to put your property up here. So here it is. Here's the Lofty website. This is their explanation. Now property owners can sell a portion of their property on the Lofty marketplace. This allows buyers and sellers to co-own the properties together, aligning the incentives, that's important, and leading to higher returns and less property issues. I agree with that. Investors on Lofty now go to invest alongside the property owner and reap the benefits of the property owner's intimate knowledge and experience of owning and managing that property. I'll get to that in a minute. Property owners get to sell equity in their property for a low fee without having to go through the traditional, traditional closing process or a HELOC. Now, let's look at the benefits for the buyers. Co-owned properties alongside the property owner who has intimate knowledge and experience owning and managing the properties. Property owner pays a portion of all repair costs based on their ownership stake in the, at the time the repair is incurred. So let's say a property, um, the owner retains 40% and us investors tokenizing it. We buy enough tokens and then we own 60% of the property. 
and then there's a thousand dollar repair bill well then that owner pays 40 percent of that repair bill and then that 60 percent is going to be paid out of the rents or the owners the investor side ownership though you won't be receiving the bill for that it's going to be paid out of the um, the payment that the owner is making towards Lofty for our equity stake. As a buyer, become an owner instantly and receive daily rent after investing. You can buy the tokens instantly on the marketplace because the property is already owned by an LLC in Wyoming and it doesn't have to go through, I've already said that, traditional closing process. Property owner can make recommendations for governance votes based on their own experience. This is also really nice. If you're in some of the other properties, even on Lofty, when we're just investing 100% into the property and it's just being managed by a management company, well, they all, that management company might be, recommend, be making recommendations, but the best person to be making recommendations is someone that has skin in the game and an owner, and one of them I'm going to show you that still lives there, they're going to know what's the best thing to do for that property and they're going to have the best advice, especially when they're still self-interested by being a part owner alongside us in that same property. And we can directly ask the property owner questions about the property in their property specific Lofty Discord channel. So when the property goes up into Lofty here, they create a Discord channel just for that property and then we can talk directly with the owner on that Discord channel. That is really, really nice. That transparency, I, no one else is doing anything like that. I like on ground floor is one of the platforms I recommend investing on. At the end of this video, I'll have a link to that up in the corner. I would love to be able to talk to these flippers, the people that we're investing with on ground floor to see how the invest, to say they're doing a flip, how it's going along. We don't have any way of getting a hold of these, invest, these flip guys and ask them questions. Lofty, this is fantastic. We can go on Discord and we can talk directly with the property owner. Now, here's the benefits for the seller. Sell equity in their property for a low fee of 2.5%. That's what Lofty is going to make without having to go through the traditional closing process or HELOC. No closing process means no more dealing with agents, lenders, buyers, and title companies. Adjust the sales price anytime with a few clicks. I'm not sure exactly about that part. Leverage institutional property management companies and insurance providers with lower fees to improve the profitability of the property. That's going to be because Lofty has experience using different insurance companies and property management companies on the platform that they've used on the other properties that, may, that can also be brought in here in those recommendations. Utilize vendors to appeal property taxes for lower rates. Okay. That's interesting. I know in my area, if you're, trying to, if you're trying to peel your property taxes, good luck with that. But in some places, I know that there is, they have a huge market in doing that. I know in Texas, people do that and they win all the time. You know, property taxes in different areas can be very high, very low. Look at the property taxes on the property in Texas and it will shock you at how high those taxes are. Now, when I received the email from Lofty about this, the first property that they showed me was this one here in Oregon. Here is the address of the property. You know, here's the token little price marketplace. The starting price per token is $50. The projected annual rate of return is 12% with the projected rental yield of 10%. So the way I read this, the rental yield, you all get to what they're paying here. The owner is to maintain and own this property of 10%. The projected annual return is also going to be assuming a 2% annual appreciation rate in the property. It talks a little bit about the owners. They are selling equity in their primary residence on the Lofty Marketplace. Their property is owned free and clear with no mortgage. Current or the sellers of this property will pay investors rent at the effective federal funds rate, the EFFR right now, that's about 5.33, yeah, about 5, yeah, 5.33%. Doesn't fluctuate in huge numbers. Actually, here is what it is right here. This was basically for the last year. You can see right here, the effective rate, 5.33%. So they're gonna pay that plus 4.67% adjusted annually. That's for the first year. Then the second year, after one year, it's EFFR plus 4%, which puts it just a little above that 10% number is what the owners will be paying us as the return on our investment. A little over 10%. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Tokens will automatically be bought back from investors in 30 years. That's a long time. And an annual percentage rate, appreciation rate of 2%. So that's baked in for a total property value then of $1.193 million. Investors can still trade their tokens anytime on the marketplace. Now that's important right now. Let's say you buy a handful of tokens. 
and you love you're loving it in a year you want to back out you want to get out of the investment on a lot of platforms i know on arrived homes they don't have a marketplace you're locked in here you can put them up on the marketplace you can see it right here here's the sell marketplace but you can see here's the order book let me just look at it here this is the order book on this property the trade volume over the last four weeks has been fifteen thousand five hundred dollars um, market cap of $658,000. And you can see here's the filled order. So there is a little liquidity here so you can get in and out of the properties. Now, both of the owners, I could say they're Kristen and Michael passed a premium criminal background check via check R and their experienced credit scores are 795 and 779 respectively. You guys, this is, that's a fantastic credit score for these guys. They don't want to mess up their credit score. Now clawback is enabled and 60% of the owner's equity is up for collateral. This allows investors to reach a supermajority of 60% ownership and via a governance vote, claw back the owner's equity if they are late on their interest payments by over 90 days. That's really fascinating because this is not a traditional foreclosure. This is just a clawback that's going to be built into that Dow structure and that if they don't make payments to us after 90 days, we can have a governance vote and claw back their equity and then we will get paid. Now, this is a remodeled single family home located outside of Portland, Oregon. It was built in 2001. They're doing a remodel. Let's take a look at let's take a look at the pictures right here so you can see what kind of property this is. This single family house. We're looking at the garage. Here is the inside. I'm pretty sure that piano there is a staged photo, but I can tell you this is a beautiful home. I'm a real estate broker, you guys. I've been a real estate broker my whole life. And I would love to have this as a listing. That kitchen is open to the living space. That's very popular. It's been remodeled or it's in the process of being remodeled. If this, if this is staged photos of the cabinets also, then this is what it's going to look like when they're finished. So yeah, bedroom stuff, bathroom, bedroom stuff, bathroom stuff. Upstairs, looks like that's probably a downstairs has, a little, has some decks. This property has a great view. That's really nice. That's a deck right there, obviously. Here's the view deck out the front of the property. So it's got a big, big deck. Is it covered? A gated, gated community. No, it's not a covered deck. I would put in one of those electric awnings here if that was me, but that depends on what, if it's a southern exposure. So it's in a gated community. Again, it's got a, that's a really nice home, you guys. I really like this property. So this house was built in 2001. Owners contracted $43,000 worth of remodeling into the home as well as purchasing all new stainless steel appliances in June 2023. Owners will be installing a new roof, new furnace, and new hot water heater in 2024. Owners will be updating both of the decks and install a hot tub in 2024. Now, if you go to the Lofty website and you pull up this property, you can get all of the documents here, the quick claim deed, the house canary agile evaluation, the inspection report, title report, operating agreements. So what they've done is they quit claim the property ownership to the Dow and then they don't own it anymore other than they own a portion of that along with us when we invest. Now here are the financials, the total investment value, $658,000. There's some closing costs, the Dow fees of $550, projected annual return, that's including the 2% appreciation. So 10% rent yield that comes to us. The annual cash flow will be $65,000. The monthly cash flow is going to be $54.90. Now, so they're saying the investment value is $658,000. That's sort of the, the our investment value. How does this really compare to the marketplace? What's the marketplace saying this property is actually worth? Are they inflating it? Well, I pulled it up here on homes.com. Homes.com is a fantastic website, you guys. If you're looking to look at properties, skip Zillow. If you want good property evaluations on the pricing and the area and a much better presentation of the homes. Go to homes.com. This is Homes Pro because I'm a broker, but it's basically going to be the same information for you guys. So four bedroom, four bath house. House. It's 3,300 square feet on a 5,000 square foot lot. The list price um, range for this neighborhood is $308,000 to $1.3 million. And this right here where my mouse is is why I like homes.com. So it gives four different... Um, property evaluation sites, what they, what they price this value at. 
Black Knight Financial right here. The second one down is my favorite. Black Knight Financial is valuing. The reason I like Black Knight Financial is because they actually own and operate a lot of MLSs in this country. And I know that banks use Black Knight Financial for their in-house. Um, not every bank, but I know a lot of banks do use Black Knight Financial for their own in-house valuations of properties. They're giving you the value of $664,000. And the average value of all of these sites is 654. But this just stick. I really do like the Black Knight Financial at 664, which is pretty much. I mean, that's actually a little more than the investment value that we're investing in. So I really like that number. I think that is absolutely solid. Now let's click into the marketplace, and I want to show you guys another property that's also doing the same thing. So this here is the the fractional real estate marketplace on Lofty. When you log in. You can pick what area you want to look at. You can pick what kind of properties, whether it's single family, mixed use, or multifamily. You can sort by what your return is going to be. You can look at new ones or upcoming ones or all of them. This one right here, so it says make an offer. So I think I'm pretty sure what the make an offer ones are going to be when they're selling their equity, but I'm not sure about that if that's always the case. But let's click on this one in here, 12615 Jackson Avenue in Missouri. So this is a 10 unit building that's got an annual projected annual rate of return for us of 29%. That's including what they think the market is going to do on the appreciation, but the rental yield, the rental yield is between 18 and 20%. I love this property. There's a number of reasons why. Number one, it's a 10 unit also because the owner is selling a portion of her equity. That means she's still going to be owning this property. I think that's really important. She's going to be owning and managing this property instead of just having a management company who just charges a fee and manages a property. They're not self-interested in getting the right tenants. They're just going to try and fill it quickly. This owner, we're basically, I, you can't, I mean, it's not, it, it's a partnership. We're partnering with this owner to own this property together, these 10 units. There is, um, there is going to be debt on this property, so there is some leverage. I also like that. The underlying loan of $875,000, it's $50 a token. One of the things I like about this is that, that she's or is or is in process of renovating the entire property. It's appraised at $1.4 million. She's already receiving rent on, on it. Some of the rent is rental assistance, so it's going to be Section 8 housing. Section 8 housing is, I have to admit, a tricky deal. If someone knows how to manage Section 8 housing and they're really good at picking tenants, and I like because she also owns this property with us if we invest, she's going to be interested in picking the best tenants she can possibly pick. That rent is coming in because it's government assistance, Section 8 housing. It's just basically guaranteed rent. So $1,200 a month for one unit, $1,175 for another. It looks like that's what they're all going for. And so she's renting all these units between $1,100 and $1,250 per month. If you want to look into this, there's Section 8 lease agreements. You can see that. You can look into the lease agreements. You can look into everything. Again, here's all the valuations, all the appraisals, the inspection reports, all of the due diligence. Some platforms don't provide this. Lofty provides all the due diligence for us to look at before we invest. If you decide to invest in any of these properties, I have a link at the top of the description below. I'd love it if you uh, use that link. It is an affiliate link. I would receive a very small commission on that and it helps support the channel. If you decide not to, then just go to Lofty AI and I would like this property and this is one of the properties I'm going to be looking at investing in.